Would you eat a Twinkie stuffed with Spam topped with Velveeta cheese? Yellow, Ralph McIntyre here with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video on Mars and Uranus conjunct in Taurus. I just get indigestion even thinking about eating a Twinkie or Spam or Velveeta cheese. Probably like most of you, I wouldn't do that because it would probably not sit in my stomach too well. It wouldn't nourish me. It would probably give me indigestion. Wouldn't go down well. And yet, we all, or I should say most of us, are allowing things to come into our mental sphere that are doing the same thing. All the hate that's on social media, the news, the angst, all the current events that we have nothing to do with or no control over. We let into our mental stability. Well, Mars conjunct Uranus and Taurus. It's time to fight for our stability, our mental clarity. It's time to take actions aligned with our happiness. I can't tell you how important it is going to be in the next year to be really careful what you allow into your mental space. What you listen to, what you pay attention, what you even know about is going to be so important. There's a huge opportunity here with these transits that Mars conjunct Uranus and Taurus. Huge opportunity. And the opportunity is sole purpose. So... Mars is about taking action. It's the warrior planet. Taurus is fundamentally what calms us down, what feels good, what works for us. And Uranus is about bringing in the new, the sudden fluctuation and changes, shaking things up, getting rid of what doesn't work, allowing the new to come in, that cutting edge self-expression. And so the more you focus on Keeping your mental space clear from the distractions of the world. Not only the news, we're not talking just the news, but we're talking about the people who are holding you back, the people who are kind of thinking small, wanting you to stay who you are, wanting you to keep you just the way you were yesterday and last year and the year before that. Surrounding yourself with people that help you get inspired to take actions that are outside the box. What goes on in your life is a reflection of who you have in your life. So we have a big transit coming up on the 20th of January where Mars and Uranus conjunct in Taurus. Mars is going to be there for a couple months. Uranus is going to be there for a couple years. This beginning part, this kind of Mars hitting that Uranus and really kind of instigating some change. So, soul purpose. What fulfills your soul? What keeps you happy and sustained from the deep innermost perspective is what we're really talking about. Are you willing to take actions? Are you willing to face your fear and take action? That's what this transit wants from you. A lot of people get Uranus at bad time because it's associated with sudden fluctuation and changes. And it's kind of like if you need to get off the bus and you don't, and then the bus gets into an accident and you blame Uranus, was it Uranus's fault? Or was it you not getting off the bus when you know you needed to? And that's what that Mars energy is. Get off the bus. Take the risk. Fight for what you want. What feels good to you. What seems good to you. What calms you. Don't take on the collective nonsense. Don't take on other people's smallness. Allow your big, powerful ambitions to come out. It's interesting with the Corona Rona, so many people have lost the stability, lost that focus on 
keeping life safe, working for the future. And they're kind of freaking out because when your happiness is focused in the future about what you're doing rather than in the moment and what's really keeping you happy, it's somewhat fragile. So with this transit coming up on the 20th, and Uranus staying in Taurus for a while will follow Venus around the chart. But it's going to be really important for you to take action. Use this time to go after what you want. And that's the key why I started this video out with that imagery of food that was like not meant to be eaten. Food with quotation marks on it. Because so often we get caught up in all the noise of the world to where we can hear that whisper of inspiration that comes through when we're calm, we're quiet, we're focused on our life, our happiness. That whisper of God-inspired wisdom, that idea, that feeling, that inclination says, go here, do this, let go of that. Time to move. And with Mars there, it's very likely going to have fear, something scary needing to happen, something you might have to fight for. And I don't mean fight for as in get into arguments or fight, but kind of be insistent upon not taking no for an answer, not letting yourself off the hook, no excuses. Mars. Mars is about no excuses. Mars is about desire. Mars and Taurus is about what really calms you, what feeds you. Soul purpose feeds you. Uranus, that unique self-expression. So on the 20th, my recommendation, it might be a good day to get super quiet. Turn off all the noise of the world. Breathe. Focus on what calms you. Focus on really what you want to accomplish. Use these powerful transits for what they're meant to be. Fuel for your accomplishments, your desires, your soul purpose. The more you focus in that direction, I have a sneaking suspicion you'll find these transits to be super beneficial. Because very likely in the collective, that Mars, war, Uranus, sudden fluctuation and changes are going to make a lot of noise. Want to grab at your attention. It's funny, I notice when I talk to people, very seldom do I talk to anyone that doesn't want to get into the stress of the world right now. And I'm like, I don't want it. No, 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 no. I want to be peaceful. I want to be reflective. I want to be connected. I want to be inspired. I want to move in the direction I want to go in. These are all Mars and Uranus qualities. Remember, don't let anyone knock you off your center. It's your center. It's your calmness. It's your stability. Only you can allow it to go away. My recommendation is to fight for it. Fight yourself. Fight the in inclination to stay informed and be creative. Do something fun. Do something energizing. Take a nice walk. Do something exciting. Something that helps you get connected to that divine inspired wisdom that's going to come through with this transit. There's a lot of energy coming in right now onto the planet, asking people to step up into their soul purpose, step up to what they're really here to do, not play it safe. Take the risk. When I'm doing readings with people, I spend a lot of time helping them find a connection of what their chart's really asking and what their soul 
is here to do, helping them have the courage, giving them the encouragement to go for what they want to. My recommendation is to stay away from anyone that's trying to hold you back and run towards people who are trying to help you get where you want to go. Be the warrior of your own mental space. Just like I suspect at the beginning of this video, when I'm talking about Twinkies and Spam and Velveeta and you're going, no, I would never eat that. Well, my recommendation is treat your mental stability like you treat your stomach, like you treat your body. And you'd be surprised what you're capable of. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe. I hope you have a spectacular new year.